just comb oh uh, just combed my hair um back in the ponytail because i am coming out to do what cut the grass this morning this is part of when you own your home so let me show you i'm gonna grab my yard shoes there's no spiders or nothing went in them i didn't turn these into like my gardening and cutting the grass shoes so it is what it is um I put on some tights because it's a little cool out. A shirt. This wasn't like a shirt that I would work out and stuff in. It says, do not disturb my peace, my grind, my joy. No, do not disturb my peace, my joy, my grind, my whole entire vibe. What? Because we ain't playing with y'all. I don't know who hung these bags up here. But they a lie. They a lie. They gonna take them down off the fence. Got my goddamn yard looking a, a mess. I hate for my yard to look a mess. I really feel like if your yard looks... Oh, it's charcoal in there. If your yard looks a mess, like that's a reflection of you. Today is Saturday. Saturday for me is always like a Saturday's chores day. We get up, we do chores. What's up, Tony? Get up and do chores. So that's my daughter on the live. Y'all show her some love. We get up and we do chores. Stop, Harper! And uh, we get to go on from there. But because it's been raining, let me show y'all the yard. Bam. So when you own your own home, you can pay for somebody to come do it. Or if you're a little girl from the bayou like me, you get out here and you take care of it yourself. Um, oh, Lord. We've been working out, so I'm like super sore. I definitely am dating, but he's broke his knee. So <laughs> what the fuck help is he? You know? So, let's check for spiders. Well, a mosquito flew out. Hmm. This ain't Texas. So, I have a vlog coming for y'all that I'm going to put up. It's more of a community-based vlog where we could just talk and catch up. It's not necessarily considered discoverable. Um, where, you know, I'm talking about something in specific to attract new people. Or anything like this this is gonna be for all my subscribers all my people that's here on the channel I know um, um, I had a subscriber tell me he hadn't seen some of my content suggested to him in a very long time and so he commented the other day his name is Ronald and it just got me to thinking like dang I wonder if that's the truth also like if y'all don't see stuff you know also I wanted to thank y'all because Y'all running the numbers up on some of these other vlogs. One of them done hit 17K. I mean, yeah, that's considered a, a hair vlog, though. 17K. Good morning, Ryan. Um, I got to tie my shoes, y'all. So, I just want to say thank y'all. It's not like I don't notice these things. You know, I'm a, um up and growing channel. So, when I notice stuff, I definitely want to give y'all love and tell you thank you for all that you do. Because without you... I wouldn't have those numbers or the things or any of that. Now, I'm not a Reebok girl, okay? Um, this is probably the only pair of Reeboks that I own. But I needed an all-black tennis shoe when I bought these. And, you know, I'm still in a search to this day to find, like, an all-black tennis shoe. So, found these, but I don't find them to be, like, that comfortable for me because they are very narrow. And my foot is wide, so to speak. Um, so they've never been like my cup of tea. I love Pumas. Oh, God, how much I love Pumas. I love Nikes. Um, I do have some Adidas, and I really never, ever, ever, ever wear them. But um, when I do wear them, they're super cute. Actually, I have two pair of Adidas. I have the ones from Beyonce with Ivy Park. And then I have some other ones that I thought were super cute online. But then when I got them... And I put them on, they kind of looked wide. Made my foot look like a bubble. So I think that's part of the reason, like, I don't really wear those. Uh, but, ooh, you talking about sore, honey. Y'all gonna have to, come on. Y'all gonna have to go in the house. Come on, hard friend, Augie. Because I can't cut no grass with my head, y'all. They gonna be running around. Now, the ground is a little, a little damp, but it's gonna have to be okay. Come on. Let mommy put y'all in the house. It's got to be okay. I haven't had my morning coffee. Haven't had none of that. I asked my child where's my Virgo hat. She didn't hear too much. She don't know. Come on, heart. You go into the washroom. Let's go. The front yard isn't as bad. I will show y'all. Uh, 
Sydney, make sure you close that, that door back. Come on, Harp. As you guys hear, I am washing clothes. Come on, Harper. Come on. I'll put him in the washroom. I love you too, baby. You have a very great, great day. Very, very great day. Now, we put together this weed eater over here. I have one that's in the back that just, I don't know, they weren't. But I put this one together. All right, so say I got Bay to put it together for me, right? So we're going to test her out today. And let's go check the front yard. Y'all, when I tell you I've been, um, I need to get to Alta today. I definitely want to go to Alta. I've been to Sephora because they're having a sale. When this live is over, I'll put in the comments and stuff like how their sale is going and all of that. So out here, it's mainly like little dandelions. So that's not too bad, but I'm still going to cut it because it's been raining and in the spring, you see, look, it's about an inch high in some places. So in the spring and the summer, you're cutting grass once a week, right? Once a week. Um, fall, every two weeks. Winter, you can probably even get by with once a month. So it's not too bad because this runs into my neighbor's yard. I don't want to show nobody license plates. So, yeah. So... I'm gonna come out here and do this. Now, I know, um, I think he had got somebody to cut. Oh, my flowers are blooming. These roses are about three years old. They got some weeds in them, cause see, you can't see the um, the stuff, but look how pretty, pretty they are. I can't wait today. Just a little tip, when your rose actually dies, you can come out here and you cut this off, just bend it off, and it's gonna grow a new bud right where you snapped it off so if like you see your little small buds it's like the perfect example it's already bloomed the flower we're going to take that off and that's going to make a new flower see i haven't been out here because it's been cold y'all so that's why you haven't seen me out in the guard ouch shit shit gotta catch it hold on it hurts okay shit that hurts. You haven't seen me out in the garden for real, for real. And I don't have my garden gloves on, so that's why that just happened to me. Because we are playing in a rose bush. Okay? It does have thorns, and when they die, the thorns are more prickly. I could use my little garden shears and just do this. But nope. My country ass want to be out here and just do it with my fingers. Like, look at all them damn stickers. You see them stickers? Hold on. Because you got to see the stickers, honey. Yeah. Hey, Melva. Good morning. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning, Melva. Tony is my daughter. She she left. She's in college, so she's not even here. So let's see what we got on this side. I think this is the side he uh got somebody to cut for him. So this side of my yard, I don't have to cut, right? So we good. So this is the thing um how can i say this because i'm not really a boastful person or anything like that um i will tell y'all i'm gonna tell you like this i don't understand why if i own my home i write like title in my hand okay that's not me being Nothing, this is me just being, damn, this shit hurt. Mm -hmm. mm. That's me being honest. Why am I still having to pay property taxes? I paid taxes when I bought the house. Mind you, I had to pay taxes on, on so I bought the house in May. I had to pay taxes from May to December, right? But I also paid taxes because I purchased the house. Just like when I get ready to list this house and sell it, hopefully this year, because I'm, I'm ready to get out of this part of Texas. I really want to go to Arizona, or I might move towards Houston area, because I'm from Lake Charles. So moving towards Houston, mm, I just don't want to fool with some of the people that's in, in Houston that's like family members. But Houston is so big, honey, I wouldn't have to fool with them. And I'm not talking about actually Houston. I'm talking about like outskirts of Houston, right? Um, 
I just don't understand because when I sell this this home, I have to pay taxes on what I grossed on the home and still pay property taxes. Make it make sense. The difference is when you have a mortgage, you can say you own your home still then, but technically you, you don't get the title until you pay it off. So it's either a 15 year loan, 30 year loan, whatever the case. However, them property taxes come out each month in your, your mortgage payment with your insurance and everything else, right? When you own it, no, boo, you, you got to say that. You got to put that to the side. You got to say that, and then you got to still pay it. But why are we paying? I just, I like, to me, I guess it's just there is a difference, and I need somebody to explain it to me because if I already own it, and because this is the thing, so, like, if you're elderly, say, like, you've spent that 30 years and paid off your home, when you become 65 or whatever, I don't think that you, I know you get property tax exempts, so, and you can get, um, what am I trying to say? Um, what is it with housing? It's, it's so, I can't even think of what I'm trying to say right now. My mind went blank. However, I, I should be granted that same thing if I own. That's all I'm saying. Because there's other states that don't do property taxes. Now, I don't want to move to no Mississippi or no Tennessee and shit like that. I don't want to live there. There ain't nothing for me there. Um... But, yeah, I, I just need Texas to get it together. They always want to holiday bigger and they better, but they always out here, Texas, especially North Texas. North Texas taxes the, hey, that's a tongue twister. North Texas taxes the fuck out of people for no reason. For no reason. You go towards Houston and everything like that, and I get it because, like, growing up where you're below sea level and all this, because, like, Charles is the same way. It's only, like, two hours from, from Houston. Um the taxes aren't going to be as high because we do have hurricanes that hit from June, like I think it's June 2nd, all the way to November 2nd is hurricane season. Um, I think now they may have kind of extended it out, but that's always been hurricane season dates. So it's a little different. That's why the taxes and stuff ain't that crazy. But up here, you get these damn tornadoes in, in Dallas. You get all this little play snow that you walk around in, the ice storms and shit. They need to do better. That's all I'm saying. They need to do better. I mean, I, y'all probably don't care to hear about what I'm talking about, my griping and shit, but I'm just saying they need to do better. Uh, you're not coming with mommy. So, plans for today. Plans for today are to finish editing because, in all honesty, I hadn't, hadn't, I, I God damn. I, y'all, get your ass back <laughs> Baby, he tried to take my leg out. Y'all didn't see him? He really tried to take my leg out. Come on, Augie. Now he think I want to play. I have to sit down and catch him because, baby, he just tried to take my whole damn knee out. Come on. Come see. Come see. Good boy. Good boy. He's such a big baby. Come on. We're going back in the house. Come on. You can't be out here with mommy. Shit. I almost lost my knee this morning. Father God, help it, Jesus. Fix it, Lord. Okay. Shit. He's 70 pounds, baby. That was 70 pounds charged at my knee. Um, I'm just talking with y'all because I'm asking around before I get over here to this limo because this limo is a beast. I've organized my storage outside, and I like to keep it. Or I'm, I, that is me. I like stuff to be organized in order. Um, that way, when I come to it, it's like that. But here's the reality. Sometimes when you have a family, okay, we are a family. Right? When you have a family. Y'all remember that off of Dream Girls? Okay. Um, they, be, they be messing with all your shit in your house. Stuff is never in order. Stuff is always out of order. You might find stuff like a sip left in the juice box or... You go for your favorite snack and they done found it and the box is still in the pantry entry. Like, you you encounter those type of things. So, you know, you may fold your sheets and press them and have them nice and neat and you fold them and put them in the closet and then they've taken the sheets for your bed, even though their bed is probably like a full-size bed or a queen bed. They come take your sheets that don't even fit the bed. Or you may have Egyptian cotton towels, right? And Turkish cotton towels. 
right real good real good thread on there real soft real absorbent you know if you got a whole bunch of water after you get out the shower the tub you just barely tap that and suck it all up right it's not like your walmart towels and and um you know is what i'm trying to say and you may have them in your own closet in your bathroom and then you go to get a towel like a new towel because you should be washing your towels and then you can't even find your damn towels you know it'd be stuff like that it'd be stuff handy i <laughs> just try to t <laughs> and then they said girl stop with the bullshit i'm trying to tell y'all <laughs> this is I love, I love having children. I truly do. But I'm telling y'all, they be in your shit. They be, oh, I can take them by their own makeup. They be in my makeup. So I don't understand. But, um, yeah, my plans for today, I plan to finish editing because my laptop did break. I was like three weeks without my laptop. And that's crazy. But in that time period, because I'm doing, I'm doing Lent. Um, so I'm always fasting and praying, but I'm also doing Lent right now. So I was able to just really sit back and kind of find my voice again on the channel because I had hired coaches and I just felt like somewhere in that coaching process, I had kind of just lost myself. So I felt like this was um, God's way of just putting like a pause to it, letting me really sit down and rethink like I don't mind testing stuff on YouTube. I really don't. But I don't want my entire channel to turn into a test especially when i have people that come to my channel to engage with me and i already have a community here i'm not looking for a new community i just want to continue to grow with the community that i have i'm not one of these youtubers out here trying to be selfish and trying to do all kind of crazy stuff now i do have dreams i do have goals and stuff like this for my channel but yeah i'm not trying to lose myself or, or sell my damn soul to get to the goals that I have for my channel, right? So, I don't know. That gave me, like, a good place of, of thing. That's the chickens. That's the rooster. I would had five. Now we have one rooster. We had two roosters. Now we only have one and two hens. So, and I might have an egg for this morning because only one of them laid an egg yesterday. So, um, yeah, I've been, I've been doing a lot of reflecting. Um, this week coming up is Holy week so you know i'm i'm sure i'm more than sure um because you know the devil do hear our prayers i told y'all i was gonna have an egg hold on <laughs> oh mr roos mr roos i'm gonna have to date it and clean it you can dry clean them or you can you know actually wash them uh it's pretty clean so you really could just dry clean it and be okay but i'm gonna put it here for the time being, I need to go to either home. I'm a Home Depot girl. So I need to go to Home Depot, get me some more like the little putty and put it here for my bricks, for my parts that came off, scrape off the glue and just re-glue it, right? And put them back on. Um, when my dad was here, he cleaned my grill for me, which this one is used with a pump, right? But I still have yet to, and he did a great job. I still have yet to crank this one open. I just, I would just continuously use that one, right? Because I prefer a charcoal instead of a um, propane type grill. I use my propane tank for when I'm doing like crab boils, fish boils, um, fish, I mean fish fries, not a fish boil, fish fries, Crab boil, boiling crawfish, boiling crabs, shrimp. I wouldn't necessarily do them in there. I do them in the house on the stove, but that's kind of like what I, I use that for. Let me go out here and get the limo. So today, yeah, that's this is what we have planned. We're going to cut the grass. Um, I'm going to shower. <laughs> I'm going to pull out whatever I'm going to use to uh, eat, you know, use to cook for the day. Um, and then I'm going to finish editing so that I can get back on schedule with Tuesdays and Fridays so that Tuesday y'all can have a, a video. Now, usually Tuesdays, I'll do more of like my tutorials or stuff like that. But um, I'm just going to be starting to put them all in like a vlog. So you might just get two vlogs a week, Tuesdays and Fridays. Now, see this, I called the city because I'm like, hey, my neighbor's tree, they need to come out here because they're busting up my fence. 
all this he was like oh we caught them they're supposed to come cut it they have yet to come out here and cut it and now their tree has fallen in my yard and they still have done nothing to come out here so this is going to affect me getting in this area back here to cut the grass because baby who's supposed to who i got a chainsaw but and it's a heavy duty one but i ain't gonna be able to cut through this fucking tree i oh, god damn it my name is not handy mandy i ain't fucking paul bunyan like and if you're too young to catch the references then shit my bad but yeah mm -mm. all right y'all so let me get to doing my yard i hope that you have a blessed saturday who knows i might pop back on later you can go watch some previous live streams some videos thank you so much for all the support that y'all always show to me your girl and i am out if i can end the stream